or are you feeding your hustle? You have a lot of people who say they're hustling, they're out there making it happen, but are you really hustling? And are you feeding your hustle? Now let me just break it down because uh, there's a blog post at blog.hustlerskungfu.com that goes into a little bit more detail, but I want to paint a few visuals for you. Your people, this is a, it's a constant thing to see on social media. I'm grinding it out. I'm working on my grind. I'm shaping stuff up. But the thing is, really are you? Because this is something that is just a fundamental truth. If you are grinding as hard as you can, you're going to get some results. Not necessarily the results that you want. Um, sometimes it takes a while to get the feedback from grinding hard to be able to grind harder to get the results that you want. So you've got that going on. And I was just really looking at it because I see people, and I'm going to give you a good example. I had a guy that was talking to about a certain blog and podcast, which we both listened to. And this person went in, was listening to the same stuff that I was listening to, and came away with a totally different outcome. It was the same information, same place, because essentially it was going like this, like, well, they're full of shit. I was like, what do you mean? It doesn't work full of hot air and I say well I went ahead and I listened to that podcast and I went ahead and did it and it worked now it didn't work the first time because I made some mistakes and it was just like how many times did you listen to it well well I kind of listened to it some parts and see that this is the thing and if you ever put out any courses online you're going to experience this that you'll get people who will cherry pick your content do some of the content some of the course and wonder why they don't get the results that it's common it's common and this is what he did with this podcast. i'm just like really so we're talking and talking i said well this is what i did and these are the results that i got you might want to go back and listen to it a few more times which is one of the things that is a problem for some people is to put forward a sustained effort for a while without immediate gratification. That's a big, big problem for many, many people. Just can't do it. So, as we go along, and I'm getting ready to, as you saw in the opening of the video, the reason that I did it that way is how in the world do you expect to be a business owner if you let little things hang you up? Because I can tell you, as a business owner, sometimes there's going to be so much stuff coming at you that you might lose your mind. And those who can't do simple things or get caught up on what I consider rudimentary task, or, you know, as the coach says, make it easy. You can't become a millionaire easily. There is no such thing as becoming a millionaire easily unless it's nepotism. Like you were, your dad was a millionaire, then you were born, and bam, you're a millionaire. Okay, that's easy, but <laughs> that's it's not going to happen to everybody. It's not going to happen to most people. Matter of fact, even the folks who get the nepotism, sometimes dad's just like, you know what? I'm done with you. So they're not even going to get that. But just a thought about... Are you really grinding it out hard as you can? Now, part of grinding it out, and then there's some of you who are grinding it out, but you're not feeding your hustle. You're not grooming your hustle. You're not cultivating your hustle. Now, there's a big difference between just going out there and hustling. Balls to the wall, nipples to the wall, doing what you're doing. There, there's a difference because anyone can do that for a short period of time. Anyone can work, you know, three days of double shifts or, you know, work overtime, or always have a part-time job. That's hustling, but that's not elegant hustling. Big difference between regular hustling and elegant hustling. And for you to get to elegant level with your hustle, you have got to feed it. You got to cultivate it, build it, groom it, grow it.
It's like expecting, you know, your kid to be walking at, you know, six weeks. They got to grow into that. They got to build up to that. And that's what you have to do with your hustle because so many people want to hustle from an honest position. They're out there doing their thing. They're making it happen. But there's a few issues with their hustle. No one said, hey, do this and your hustle will get better. Do that and your hustle will get better. And I know there's a lot of people out there will say this. You can always find the information online for free. Now, I've addressed this in the video, and I'm going to address it again. There is no such thing as free. There's always a cost. There's always something that has to be given uh, <clears throat> or paid for you to do something. It's called an opportunity cost. So for all of the, I can get it for free, guys. I can get it for free, girls. I just, how many hours have you this year been investigating on getting it for free? Have you quantified it? Do you know? Most of you have no clue because you're just doing what you're doing. You're hustling, but you're not hustling on an elegant level. Because see, when you're hustling on an elegant level, you know you wouldn't know those questions. You wouldn't know the answer to those questions. You wouldn't know those instantly. <clears throat> there would be no, well, I gotta think about it. Uh, I need to shape it up. You wouldn't know this stuff instantly. It would be right there at the top of your dome because what gets measured gets done. And if you don't measure your results, which means you know you're not analyzing, <clears throat> you're not looking at why certain things work, why certain things don't work. If, if you're not, <clears throat> excuse me, if you're not doing that, you're just regular hustling. And everyone is being put in a position right now where everyone has to hustle. There's no such thing as, well, I want to hustle. Many people are coming to that place and understanding of, I have to hustle. I must hustle. I must make it happen. I must um, do what I need to do. So your regular hustle, which used to be so far ahead of everyone else, is now it's just it's not even a regular hustle. It's, it's a low-level hustle because you're competing with so many people now. You have so many people who are like, well, I got to do this. I got to get this part-time job or I need to start this part-time online business because they have to because they're scared they know what's coming they feel it so they want to be prepared so just regular hustling just doesn't cut it anymore you've got to upgrade your hustle and shape it and groom it and build it to a level that is just so much bigger and bolder than what you were accustomed to so the question of the day is are you hustling as hard as you can? Are you hustling your face off? Are you working so hard that people are just amazed at it's like, how the hell do you keep doing all this? Are you superhuman? No, you just increased your hustle. You just enhanced what you can do. You've built yourself up and now you're an elegant hustler, not a regular hustler. You've, you've got plans, you have goals. And more importantly, you analyze your hustle consistently. You analyze it. You look at it. It's like, okay, am I? And you ask yourself those hard questions. Am I, as, am I hustling as hard as I can? Am I really putting my best foot forward? Am I really, really in it? And if you pause, the answer is no. Because you'll know if you're really in it. And once again, you could be hustling very hard and not get the results that you want because you're just doing regular hustling. You don't have a format, a flow, or a process to your hustle. You're just essentially doing shit. Don't steal against the wall. And sometimes that works. A lot of times that works. But if you don't know why it works, that's going to be a problem later on. It's going to be a big problem later on. So you got to go ahead, build up your hustle, build up yourself, and feed your hustle on a regular basis. So be sure to check out the blog post. And as you saw in the beginning, I'll get into it. 